The other night after Vicky called, Ed and I went outside. It was a beautiful summer night. The moon had set. There was no wind. The sea was calm and the stars were out. I looked up and there was this one star hanging low in the sky that was just bigger than all the rest and brighter than all the rest with a twinkle and a sparkle louder than all the others. I know it was Jupiter, but it was acting a lot like Teddy. <laughs> his colleagues have spoken tonight about his work, his devotion to the Senate, the joy he took in helping others, his thoughtfulness and compassion, his inspirational courage, and his commitment to the ideals of peace and justice that his brothers gave their lives for and that he fought for his entire career. In our family, we were lucky to see his passion, his self-discipline, and his generosity of heart every single day. He had a special relationship with each of his 28 nieces and nephews and with the 60 people who called him Great Uncle Teddy. He was there for every baptism, every school trip to Washington, every graduation, and every wedding with his big heart, his big shoulders, and a big hug. Yesterday, as we drove the same route up from the Cape, I thought about all the gifts that Teddy gave us and the incredible journey he took. I thought about how lucky I am to have traveled some of that journey with him and with all the wonderful people that he embraced, so many of whom are here tonight. I thought about how he touched so many hearts and did so many things that only he could have done. I thought too about all the things he did that we all could do, but we just figured Teddy would do them instead. As we drove through the Boston that he loved and saw the thousands of people who loved him back, I realized that it was our final history trip together. Now Teddy has become a part of history and we have become the ones who have to do all the things he would have done for us, for each other, and for our country.